Stockport County return back to Edgeley Park after their victory in the league last week at Rochdale. A victory that saw a stunning goal from Ashley Williams. And it's Ashley Williams that's going to have to change positions today as we look through the county lineup. It's going to be a little bit of a change due to injury. It's going to be basically John Rooney in goal, Michael Rose, Rob Clare, Ashley Williams will be at the back alongside debut for Tony Kane on loan from Blackburn. So Tony Kane will make his debut for Stockport County on loan from Blackburn Rovers. The midfield will have Keith Briggs and David Poole, Jason Taylor and Michael Malcolm in it. And up front will be Tess Bramble and Liam Dickinson. County then kicking from left to right on your screens towards the railway end that has uh, quite a few Imps fans. Dickinson, first shots from Dickinson, he's just gone wide. So, let's find out who our co-commentator is this afternoon. Mikey, how long have you been supporting County? Uh, since I was about nine, so that's about 15 years now. 15 years? I thought I was only about three, but never mind. <laughs> and you're going to keep an eye on the formations for me today? I am, yeah. See how the new lads slot in in defence. Claire does well. Mayo tried to sell the dummy. And Kane did well enough. Into the near post, it's flicked on. Hook back over. It's in the bar, you know. And Ruddy collected. Early ball out. But Mayo's underneath it. County retained possession. Bramble. Tries to keep it in play because he just overhit on his second touch. He pulls just beneath us here and he's still holding his chest. Let's hope it's nothing serious. It could be just bruising. Had a clear by Moses, who's on a yellow card now, of course. This is Stallard. Breaking quick from midfield. Problems here. Oh, it's well wide. Frecklington with a shot, but just for a moment, he opened us up. And it's fair to say that uh, chances have been limited. County have certainly forced their way into the game. They've got to be conscious of the fact that they could be caught a sucker punch, and that's a good ball in. And that's going to be a corner. Corner then to the Imps. 17 minutes left in the first half. Oh, Ruddy had to be on his toes then. Oh, this is a brilliant reaction save. Per many one from two. Marriott's lined his wall up. He's happy with that. Poole dinks it in. It's uh, cleared away. Briggs will get there first, will he? Yes, he will. Trying to take it to the byline, and he gets there as well. And it's a good tackle. But it gives County the corner. All the runners have started. Oh! I was Malcolm! The keeper missed it completely, and I think Malcolm was surprised to see it. And when he headed it, he headed it wide. Glorious opportunity. It was a goal was gaping there after Marriott came and did nothing. I think Bramble stooped it at the far post as well and just couldn't get a touch on it. Nat Brown gets it back to Marriott. We can't pick it up, but hooks it clear. Taylor. Now then, Malcolm. 
Can he have a shot? Keeper, oh, the keeper was out of his goal. He just wouldn't fall for him. Taylor again picks it up. Rose with a cross. Poole, he's got Kane behind him. Here's Kane. Poole will try to byline, gets the cross in. Oh, and it's going to go for a corner, is it? Yes, it is. Good pressure from the home side. Rose has gone across to take it. Good ploy, Poole. Good ball in. Briggs at the back post. It's kept in play and it's gone for the corner. It's Taylor that headed it back. Oh, it was nearly an own goal. It just won't go in for County, but they're getting closer. Ball comes in again. Dickinson! Just over the top. Well, three very good corners. All different. All cause the Imps defence problems. Stallard. It's away by Dinny. Bramble's going to try and leave that, but he's going to get himself in trouble if he's not careful. It's a good challenge from Dinny. And he got it as well. Looking for the run of Malcolm, but Brown was there to intercept. Rose finds Dinning again. Dinning with a ball over the top this time, and again it's Brown that intercepts for Bramble. Now then, Dickinson. Tries one. Oh, he's rising. And what's your view on the Dinning change? Uh, I'd be surprised if it is that score. Obviously, Briggs might have picked up a knot that we haven't picked up on in the first half. Straight swap in the middle, get Dinning, get his foot on the ball, see if we can control things now. Dinning with a header. Pool, Malcolm. And again, he's made himself available over on the far side as the young lad. Just links up the plate. Pool again. Oh, I tell you what. That's got to be a yellow. Nat Brown with the challenge on Pool. And the referee will find a yellow card in his yellow shirt, which matches the yellow ball. Curled in, Dinning, yes, gone, and Dinning! As Dinning claimed his first goal for Stockport County on his return, it was a great ball in. I'm sure Dinning got a touch on Dinny. We'll have to wait and see. But if that's the case, it's the first goal since his return to the club. More importantly, Stockport County have gone one up. Ruddy will collect that easily. He's not had a lot to do this afternoon. That says a lot. Bramble. Dickinson's on a run. Marriott's coming a long way. Dickinson's got there. He's put it into the middle. There's no keeper. Bramble! Oh, he's on the line! Well, the defence was at sixes and sevens. Dickinson down with an injury. County fans up as one. And the Lincoln fans are stunned into silence. It's an excellent debut for Kane.
Lincoln trying to find a way back into this. We're trying to play some football through the counter defence and Tony Kane doing his defensive duties now. It's curled in. Ashley Williams. Oh, it was a spectacular effort from Nat Brown, the centre half, the big tall centre half. 5,497 at Edgeley Park today. And County have just got to hold out. Now that break on here. Malcolm, oh, he's pushed it a bit too far forward. But Poole's picked it up in midfield. He's got Bramble out to his right. This is Bramble. Driving into the box. The defender gets a foot on it. And takes it away from Bramble. Bramble challenges back, goes for a throw for Lincoln. And they just want to get it straight upfield, and that's exactly what they do. Claire's underneath it, he gets a header. Williams with a header away again. Taylor nods it down. It's away by Kane, and it's a good ball, you know. It's just wouldn't fall for LaFondre. Now then, opportunity is it's a straightforward shot. It's a goal! County have scored! Unbelievable mistake by the keeper! He played it into midfield from the left-hand side of his goal and when the ball came back he was nowhere to be seen and Michael Malcolm has made it 2-0 and the Lincoln fans are pouring out in their droves it's a great afternoon for Jim Gannon and the boys County at 2 up, Mikey Oh, it's fantastic now, the scenes now it looks like we're top of the league and they're mid-table but they had to push forward, keeper blundered and Mal Malcolm there, nice and calm, just slotted it home that's it now, surely three points wrapped up just one of those days, isn't it, when you're proud to be a county fan. It's not that they've scraped through or they've been lucky or anything. They have played well today and they deserve what they've got. This is Taylor. Poole, and look at the young lad. He's screaming alongside him. There he is now. Came with a cross on. It's the first one all day that's been blocked. Where does he get the pace and energy from at this late stage in the game to make a run like that? I tell you what, if Jim can keep him a bit longer, he's going to be an upset. This is Brown then for Lincoln. Dini, sorry, it was uh, challenge. It's Dini now with the header. It was a challenge from Claire. Referee has blown his whistle. And Stockport County have taken three absolutely magnificent points away from today's league leaders. And the Cheatland are up as one. The joy around Edgeley Park. I wonder where that'll put County in the league tonight. Just outside the playoffs, I would have thought. But Stockport County are fast becoming a team to be reckoned with. It was Michael Rose that set it all going. I thought at first that Dillian had got a touch on it, but it went into the net. Back came Lincoln, they tried, they changed their formation. They put the big man up front to see if that would make any difference. But it didn't, because what happened after that was a ball, a harmless ball to the keeper. He played it up into midfield, and they realised it had gone straight to a blue shirt, and he just placed it straight back into the back of the net. Michael Malcolm scores. Stockport County then. And playing on the league leaders at Edgeley Park. And it's finished. Stockport County 2, Lincoln City 0. Fantastic October, and that was a great start to November. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, now, we, we, you know, we talked about the progress we made last month. Um, but we also reminded the players and gave them a reality check that we hadn't beat that many great teams. Um, we, we faced great opposition today, and the lads you know, just found another level today. And I'm, I'm so proud of them because they were awesome today. So what did you put in the team before the kickoff? I actually got mentioned on the sideline. I thought, well, where's this come from? And uh, I think it's just about having confidence and belief in yourself. I think the, the ability is there. Um, with young players, you know they're going to improve and they're going to add things to the game. But today, you know, I just like I said, they were they were immense. Um, some of the performance today, I just gobsmacked. Um, you know, and I'm so proud for them. They should be so proud of themselves. Let's pick out one or two. Jason Taylor, first of all, what a fantastic game he's had today. Yeah, me, me and. 
Peter talked about him and said that he's a fantastic player. Not everybody's seen that. Um, we obviously seen a little bit about him last year. Um, I think people didn't give him the credit for his work ethic, his ability. But today, uh, talk about breaking play up and then breaking forward. He was fantastic today. Of course, Ashley Williams, I mean, always Mr. Reliable, but he seems to have uh, got Jamie Forrester in his pocket today. Yeah, well, we, we obviously did, you know, um, set out to, for Ash to man Mark Forrester and keep him quiet. We felt if we can keep him quiet, we keep Lincoln quiet. But um, I think the rest of the team worked so hard in front um, to deny the service to, to Jamie. But when Ash was called upon, he just, you know, he's got that athleticism, he's got that spring, he's got pace. Nobody gets by him, um, you know, so he did a fantastic job today.